Bam, dump it, oil, dump it. Dare ya. Oh, yeah. Guess where it's not dumping? So is it going in the, is it going in the pan? Oh, it's going in the pan! It might be kind of weird that what we're doing like a video revisited kind of thing on the I oil change. I think in French it's called a redo. Redo? Well, what happens is that you have to change your oil more than once or twice. Well, yeah, but you don't need an instructional. It wasn't really, I, get, I don't know, I don't know if it was instructional, but a lot of people have told us that they learned to change their video. I've talked to a lot of people at work video, actually. Their oil from Change their videos from this oil change. Yeah, right. That's so, tired, yeah. but honestly, we're tired. It's been a long day. It's nighttime. We're in a countdown prep to Glamis. One of the things we need to do on the X3 is get the oil changed in them. Yeah. Um, we want them to be fresh and ready to head up old with all this new Evo power. And our friends at Raptor Off-Road have oh. asked us, they've graciously sent us this awesome, specifically designed for the hardships that all X3 owners face regarding changing the oil. Um, we have some tips and tools for you. If you watched yeah, any of yeah. the other videos that we have, there's two other ones. We've changed our oil more than once. Ah. Yeah. And uh, this is going to be the best one yet. I'm pretty excited to use this. Okay. Oil drain funnel for the X3. So Raptor Off-Road, I'm going to do you proud, hopefully. And if I don't, just don't share it. A couple That's of reasons weird. I thought we should revisit this. One is that people have used the other video to learn to change oil, and the video quality is horrible. Yeah. We have new equipment since then. We have new equipment to help us change oil. I'm gonna tell you right now, if this thing right here works the way it looks like it's gonna work, if it, this yeah, is how I can tell. If it does the job I think it's gonna do, well then this game is changer. game changer for oil changing on the X3. So because anyone, I already told someone about this, John Jackson today. Because yep. anyone that has changed the oil on their car, if they have done it without something like this, man. It's, and now we have a whole new uh, purple blah blah blah. Oh yeah, we got a new problemo. We're gonna work around that. We're gonna work we'll around it. So this is a whole thing. But what yeah, we got a... now is you guys, you X3 owners out there, you have to change your oil. It's no getting around it. If uh, if you ride, no, no, regardless. So once you do, you're gonna realize the pitfalls that uh, we all run into when it comes to doing it. Ha ha, Can Am designers, got you. Raptor Off-Road has you, uh, I don't know what the words are, but we got you. So got we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to use this. We're going to also utilize our new Creeper. I'm pretty excited about it. Pretty cool, yeah. Um, he's so, not using it because it ran him over. Yeah, yeah. Bad, bad deal. I'll show, uh, maybe I'll pop a clip of. He's some, got you right here, right? Yeah, get some of that action. That is cause that wheel. That. It looks like he got shot, okay. But so anyway, yeah, so what's, what's I mean, really, the car is horribly dirty because uh Barely. we loaded it in a in a in mud a rainstorm in and Oregon and a UTV takeover yeah yeah what we're dealing with here is uh, an oil change so let's do it because we're gonna make it quicker than last time other than the blabbing that's happening right now More pressure on me okay and uh oh yeah less you, mess. Need, you know what we need something to drain the oil into we'll be I right got back a garage, I got a garage boss 10,000 on know. hand it, it, I think it was brand new one of the last times you changed the oil. It's not so much. We bought it in that video actually, and put Large it together. Ten thousand. Yeah, <laughs> it's not new anymore. We'll we'll get it in a minute. And yeah, look, we just got fuel today for. <gasps> for what? For so we have a fuel station on the trailer, right? But uh, we needed uh, a bunch of one ten because we're running hundred octane, and so we mix it down with ninety one or ninety two. We're whatever basically we have. racing. We're basically race car drivers. Exactly. Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, so a few things while we're getting ready for the surgeon, or not getting ready, while we're waiting for the surgeon to get ready. So here's, uh, this here's is a revisit as well. It, it was brand new, probably in the other, other uh, couple video. videos, <laughs> it was cleaner. It's not brand new anymore. I've seen some but life. the car was also brand new uh, in that first oil change video, and it's not brand new anymore. It's, um, it has character. It has some character on it. Oh, a spot for right there for sure. Uh, it has some character. We're going to take right. care of that. We're going to take care of that. But it's definitely a different car in a lot of ways, but it still needs an oil change. It does. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, right meow? Right meow. Okay. okay. Uh, we ran it a little bit already to warm the oil up. I want to so get burned. That, that, I just want it to get bright hot. Uh, let's grab that oil change kit. This is an oil change kit from our local off-road motorsports dealer, Klaus and Honda. It's a Can-Am X-ray oil change kit. 
Um, it's going to contain the oil and uh, the oil filter. I bought it from Amazon, but that's okay. It's not from so, Walmart. But yeah, you can get it there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, but basically... Um, this is an unboxing. An unboxing. So basically, what happens if you get the kit, you, it comes with uh, some extra parts. It comes with one, the exact oil you need. Yeah, that's a, that's a funny little story about that. This Maybe we'll throw on the clip right here. Uh, think, okay, we'll put think a oil filter and we'll throw on clip. <laughs> so uh, it comes with the amount of oil you need. Which is 3.75 quarts, so four. Yeah, so, yeah, right. Uh, it also comes with a few other odds and ends in it, which are in a little bag right there. Don't throw them away. Oh, oh yeah, your little gaskets. Yeah, and your copper. And your copper ring. And um, your other ring. Both, those are both to seal the um, drain plugs, and that O-ring is for the oil filter. We call it an O-ring, yeah. So, that's that. All right, so oil. Oil. Uh, what we're going to need here is a, uh, I'm going to get a red solo cup or some kind of a device, because we're going to want to pre-soak this, right? Yeah, we did before. I, I, I don't think it's a horrible idea. I think it's a great idea because you get it all soaked in. Yeah. So you don't run it dry. Right. For the first startup. Yep. We don't mess with this stuff. This exactly. is a freaking performance machine. All right. So we're going to grab a few tools. We're going to grab a, uh, a Dixie cup. We're going to grab a, <laughs> a uh, oil receptacle holder. Yep. Those are one size fits all. Try them on, please. I got those uh, because you said pink. You said pink. I bought you pink. You said pink. <laughs> I, if I would have got a size small, if it weren't just for me. You can't make anyone happy. The shop's changed a little bit since either one of the last oil change videos. So I'm organizing because the glove section is right there and things were just cattywampus. Like, yeah. No. So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Organization is key. Organization is key. But right now yeah. we're tired and we got to get this oil change in this car. We're also, yeah, we're tired. So here's the thing, right? This, what we previously did with this is we ran this through one of the holes in the bed, which allowed us to feel the oil from up here on top. Here's the problem with that. We can do that, but we'll have to unbolt this whole thing. We kind of made a situation for, us, for ourselves. So we're going to address that when we get to it. Right now we're going to get the oil out. So what are you doing sitting down? Let's go. Wow. <laughs> But my boss is real strict. Okay. <laughs> so I got this nifty thing. So let me show you real quick. Oh, let me show you real quick here. Um, here are the tools we are going to use. I don't know what the prop. Pro, I don't know. I don't know what the proper tools are or what the book says. This is what Dandy Off Road says. Or any, any. No, this is not what Dandy Off Road says. This is what we have. This is what we're going to use. Oh yeah. This. Right? Here. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe not the power ratchet. That's just for looks. It'll look <laughs> like we're using it, but we're not. I'm gonna fake use it. And we have this guy. Yeah. So I think basically where we're gonna start is let's set, you gotta set up the Garage Boss 10,000. Right. Garage Boss 10,000. And I have to, I'll know where to put it because somebody drilled it down inside the hole. Yeah. Right in the proper location. Right. Oh, I should have set it up here. This, we're going to put this light down here so people can see what's happening, right? Yeah. Like that, like so. I'm going to uh, grab, real quick while you're doing that, I'm going to grab uh, that handy dandy funnel. Do it. Funnel it up. I think this thing is cool. I think this whole thing is cool. The car, this all thing, of it. This thing right here. Oh, yeah. Garage Boss 10,000, back in business, baby. Yeah. Okay, so the cool thing about this Garage Boss is that it has these extendable mabobbers so you can build it up. So look, you don't have a long, uh, drippy system of oil hitting, splashing all over the place. Although I am prepared for that with these glasses. Yeah. Okay, so we got this. All right, now we need to put the funnel in place. Now we're going to put the funnel in place, check, check, which goes right over here. I'm going to head this way. So this is going to be laying in here. Yeah, we don't have very much light in here. This camera's pretty Oh, wait, actually, I'm going to get this. I like to bang things around like a maniac, if you haven't noticed that yet. If you never watched the channel, welcome to Brandy. Okay. So, can you see a little bit better? A little bit. It's still going to be a little bit difficult. Let me get right in there next to you. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Go ahead. It's going to be a little bit difficult to actually show. Exactly. I haven't done this, and I'm not doing any tip tricks on how to get this in, because I want it to be as if you got it. Okay. And whether it's easy or hard, I want to be honest about it. 
Yeah. I'm excited, but I don't want to lie to y'all. But I can tell you right now, whether it's easy or hard to get in there, that's an awesome product. And I'm just probably... I'm thinking, oh, yeah. I have an idea. What? I think pull it out, pull it out. Go well, the other way. Flip it upside down. And no, 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 no. Flip it upside down and slide that part in for us. Oh there. my God, you're right, huh? Let's see. Well, I don't know if I'm right, but it's Actually, it's like right. this, probably upside down like that. Yeah, but in the right angle would be nice, Brandy. We're gonna do this together, guys, and this is just me showing you what it's like for the very first time of us using this. No. No. Okay, it fits like, I'm just trying to see, they would have done something to like make it easier. I'm sure. Oh, no, nope, that's rubbing against that. I don't want to put, you don't want to have to force and like knock things off the balance. So I, wait, wait, oh, go back right there where you were. I think you're so close. So slow down, slow down, slow down, right there. Okay. No, 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 keep, keep it towards there. I think if you just kind of work that in, you're, well, maybe not that much. Well, I just don't do it that way. Yeah, don't do it that way. Okay, but anyways, it's in. Cut that part out. <laughs> yeah, we cracked it a little bit. That's all. That was bad. us. That was us. So, so you're gonna it pull? probably goes in from the other side or some ridiculous thing. I'm sure. Let me go we'll look. look it up after. Okay, um, I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come, yeah you is, could probably totally put it in from over is, here. Yeah, we did it the wrong way. But that's... Don't do it that way. That's a don't do. Oh, my God. Check this out, though. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, guys, I already uh, know. I haven't even done it yet. That is freaking awesome. Dude, guys. Now, here's the thing. So you'll have to uh, pull it out of the way for a minute while because we're going to loosen the bolts from underneath. But that's fine because it's real easy to get out of the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. It right. Do that again. So put it back in the pull. Once you have it in the right way, once you haven't messed it up, they have the perfect curvature here to set rusting where we have tried to find the funnels and kind of, you've seen the video. If not, there's a link below, but where we've kind of tried to find the perfect uh, angle, they yeah. already, it's like they have done this. Yeah. If you've changed the oil in your car and tried to do this, when you just, just seeing that funnel, you should know that, you know. Wrapped her off road, guys. And that crack is from us. I'm going to apologize, but I'm a um, bull in a shiny shop and I don't like to wait. So I, sorry. Yeah. Mm. But we'll show you how to get it in the right way after this, at the end. I'm going to show you how to slide it in the right way. Right, babe? Well, let's help. Okay. Let's not make promises. Okay, so I put it in the wrong way, but there's a right way. <laughs> there you go. That's more like it. Yeah. All right, let's get this oil changed. Okay. So slide it out of the way. Look how easy that is. Watch. Even with me and my bare yeah. habits. So what we're going to do then now is get underneath and just pop those. I don't know that I would use the electric part of that electric I'm not, ratchet I'm not, because yeah. it'll spin it right out, dump oil. And no, I don't want to do that. This would be the third time that we had a plan and oil Here's just dumped all over the ground. I'm not dumping oil today. Not today. Not today, sister. Not today, sister. Brother. Right. Drain plug. And all right, so, let me just get a look up in here. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop both of those loose. Once they're loose, pretty loose, we're going to put come back up here, put the funnel in place, and then reach in there. Oh, I see. And spin them out by hand. Can you see the 10 and the 16 if I point them out to you? No. Uh, the, the right. They yeah. See the 10 and the 16 right next to each other in there? Uh, move your light a little bit. Actually, move that light out of the way completely. Oh, that camera picks up everything. Yeah. So we got a 10 and a 16 right next to each other. 10's on your, my right, whatever. The small one, obviously. It's more than 16. <laughs> so that's what, we cut our hole open a little bigger. You're you don't pretty, have to if you have this funnel. Yeah, you don't have to with this funnel. So, so. that was a, that, ignore it. Yeah. yeah that's not factory. <laughs> Parks right, came like let's that. Let's do this. Okay, now I can see. Hmm. It's on there real tight. Who did this? I can't even do it. Right, hang on, hang on, let me grab a, I'm gonna grab a ratchet. Yeah. Oops, hang on. Okay. Okay. Now Broke it. Yep. Yep. Right. Now, yep, now I'm gonna swap over to the little guy, right? Yeah. So a 10, 8, and a 16. All Ready? Right. Break it loose. That one's better. That was easier, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So they're broke loose. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to come up here. 
and we're going to put the um, funnel in place. Then we're going to reach over there. We're going to come up here and put the funnel in place. Then we're going to put the drain pan in place, and then oh. we're going to let it flow. Yep, we'll let it flow. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is reach up in there, and honestly, it's pretty much impossible to be able to video that part but what's gonna happen is she's gonna reach up in there spin those uh drain plugs loose and let the oil flow so i'm gonna do the small one first uh, but let's get our pan in place just in case it's a little warmish i got the hole right here i can feel it so i make sure i'm lined up okay and i am all right so i'm gonna spin it loose and try to move my hand out of the way before anything bad goes goes down right there you go so that that's the big one. You kind of almost can't see in there, but it's all right. I'm all nervous because it's a little warm because, you know, we like to heat it up first. For... You're doing a little one, right? Yeah, I'm doing a little one. Hang on. Here we go. We're only doing the little one so we can see how hot the oil is to make sure it, it's really... We, we want to make this. sure it's real hot. We're gonna, and that we can pull this off without dumping oil. Bam. I didn't. I didn't drop it. Let's feel it. Okay. All right. We'll oh, set... that's perfect temperature for right. uh, bathing, whatever. Okay. Look. So we'll set that bolt aside. Oh my God, guys! Set it over here. I'm sorry. That one's got the washer. We'll throw it over in there. That way we know where it's at. Oh my God! I'm sorry. I'm super excited. Now we're gonna take the big one out. And let me just not knock this funnel out of the way. This amazing, awesome, new game changing so Raptor it, Off-Road funnel that's working like a freaking charm. It does the trick, huh? Oh my God! It does more than the trick. It does tricks. Bam, dump it, oil, dump it, dare ya. Oh, yeah. Guess where it's not dumping? So is it going in the, is it going in the pan? Oh, it's going in the pan! Yeah. Guys! It's going right into the pan. Come here, give me that. Yeah. Or you get it, but look. Yeah, your hands are way oily. I don't care. Look at this is part of the game. Look at that! Oh, wow, that oil is... I'm glad we're changing it. That's... I don't want to... I'm gonna talk about it. But anyways, pay attention to the, what the video is about. Look at where it's going, not on the floor, not in the frickin' skid plate. Yeah, that's <gasps> awesome. Ah! Raptor um, Off-Road? Yeah, Raptor Off-Road funnel for the absolute win Mucho for sure. Mucho props. Yeah, winner. Yeah. If there was a, a certificate for best funnel design, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Awesome. Dude, I'm gonna Good call this guy tonight. I awesome. Already, I already, t I already told Mr. John Jackson. He's twelve definitely thumbs gonna up. Want, he's definitely gonna want one. I'm gonna do twelve thumbs up. This is the messiest I've gotten. If you know me at all, this is nothing. Still draining? Still draining. Uh, barely, just dripping. Okay, that's fine. We'll let it sit there and do its thing. Okay. Uh, so next we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull the old air filter out. Air filter, oil filter, oil, fi oil filter. Whatever. So the electric ratchet uh, is all set up right there. Grab that eight millimeter. All right, right so way. we're gonna pull the old oil filter out. Oil. Which on the Can Am is a little bit of a task. It is. It's lie. like in a weird position. Uh -oh, that's uh -oh. not gonna fit. Oh, so yeah. let's go ahead and pull these out, get those out of the way, and then we'll deal with that last one last. We got this. Again, keep your freaking eye on the price. Uh, do not take this off of the bolt until you have it in hand. Yeah. Put it where you can find it. Now, what I want to do is talk about maybe seeing if I could just. Actually, what I, what I would advise is you to pull that socket off that adapter and we grab a little uh, quarter inch drive uh, ratchet from the drawer okay. over there. Go ahead and do it that way, yeah. Yeah. Ratchet drawer, nicely labeled. Yes. Well, All right, let me sneak in this so I can see what you're doing here. I'm doing what I gotta do. Perfect. All right. Come on, bolt. I have a bad one. We have, sure out. we have. We, all, we were real <laughs> careful in the no, beginning. Okay. Bolt in hand. See? Safe oh, day. Where? Where is it at? Three. Lined up okay. right there like three little. All right. Okay, so now we can pull that cap off, and there's an O-ring in there. We have a new one. That's one of the advantages, like I said, to buying the kit. It comes oh, with, with an O-ring. Yeah, I mean, you might get a little bit of oil, but this thing's getting ready to get oh, washed. Oh, we're not getting any oil. Guys, we're not. So here's so, the O-ring. Yeah, there's the old O-ring. We're going to toss that. So we had something funny happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't that if funny you, at the time. If you pull the old oil filter out, grab that rag and kind of hold it in your hand and then just set set that cap aside so it's not in your way. Oh, 
And the O-ring goes in the trash. And I was like, what are we doing? Okay. Oh, I know what you're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we're going to grab the old oil filter out we'll and we're going to show you something cool that uh, wasn't that I funny. I wonder if it's ever happened to anyone else. Yeah, I, I felt like such an idiot. I it was such a happened. dumb thing and it just, I was just, I don't know, I just. Were you tired maybe? It wasn't clicking in my brain at all. No oil dropping. Here's the old, old oil filter, right? Here's something weird that happened to us. See this piece here? If you take this piece, it kind of locks on to the top of the oil filter, right? Well, anyway. Anyways, does. that Perfect. cap in there. Yeah, that can actually pull up. This can actually pull off the oil filter and it was and stuck in like here. And look like a part of this. We didn't even look in here. We just couldn't get the new one to fit because that piece was in there. So we, we went to the dealer and we were like, you gave us the wrong. <laughs> and they thought so too. Yeah. They Here's did. the thing. They tried and didn't see it either. They gave us a new oil filter. We came home and then we realized what happened. Well, they didn't give us. We bought. But. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we uh, then discovered that the top of the oil filter had come off, was inside there. We discovered we were not super smart. Yeah, <laughs> that's the day when we figured that's it out. That's the day. Anyway, so let's do this. We're going to slap the new oil filter in. Yep. That's all right. It's okay. There you go. Like that. Seat yeah, it. And then seat it's it in. down. Yep. I think and I missed. This, don't kick it. I think I missed all of that, but that's okay. Okay. Well, it's in there. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> Filter's in there. I'm missing one little part, which think is about the O ring. Dumb. Which is right here. Yeah. Don't mess don't miss your O-ring, guys. Yeah. You don't don't lose your, your little uh Yeah, don't lose those either. You want those, we'll show you what those. So go ahead and put I'll, this on. I would carefully. guess that probably most people watching this video, either you do or you don't, it's not a big deal either way, but know what that those are, these crushed washers. Mm -hmm. If you don't, uh stay with us and we'll show you in a minute. Yeah. Is that surface clean? Um, I'm looking at it right now. I feel like there's like a little. Just no, that's nothing. Just, okay. just where the oil ring goes. It's fine if it has oil on it. We're no, it's just dirt. oil. I looked no at it parts now. Seat that in place. Pull it. And seat it. Okay. Not rolling. Just kind of push it down in there now that I've kind of snapped it on. Okay. Yep. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Okay. Now we're back in business, guys. So now, go ahead and get that on there, right? And the bolts are gonna tighten that back up. It's a little bit tricky because you gotta get it on the oil filter and in, yeah, you, you gotta, no, that's not gonna work. Mm -mm. You, you can't. Let me get in here, I can't force it. Yeah, you have to, you have the to. The oil, um. You're, you're good. You just have to put the cap, you have to go down even with the cap. Okay, and I'm about even. Okay, so you gotta like, oh, line it up at the holes, okay. Okay, so <clears throat> we got the oil filter in. It's the next day. It was a little, <laughs> yeah. It just uh, kind of gave us a little bit of a pain, but it's in, we're good to go. So what we're doing now, what Brandy's doing now is putting the oil filter cap back on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna put that back in place. We're gonna put the plugs back in. We're gonna get the filter, uh, the funnel out. And then we are going to put some oil in this thing. Yeah, we are. Fire it up, make sure everything's good and then it's ready basically just to be cleaned up and put in the trailer. And then we ride. And, then we and ride. I've never ridden my, by myself in Glamis, so I'm just gonna say, pretty excited. Okay, so we got the filter back in, we got the bolts back in, you know, nothing. Nothing lost. Nothing uh, groundbreaking there. Uh, we put I the bolts somewhere. I, what bolts? I'm just kidding, they're in the garage boss 10,000. <sighs> The plug bolts, yep. whatever you want to call them, plugs, call bolts, them, they're bolts them. that are plugs. <laughs> and uh, plugs we're going to pull them out here. We're going to grab, we're just, just going to grab them and pull them out here. Here. They are right here. All right. So we're going to grab our plugs. We're going to come over here and we're going to get our new crush I washers. I this thing right off on purpose just so yeah. I dropped it like that. That would have been a pain. It's usually a pain to get it off. Anyway, we're going to look at the plugs. Anything crazy, any... Any, those are magnetic plugs. This one is a magnetic plug. I Anything don't in there? See any? Uh, what's on that side? Uh, I don't think there's anything crazy in there. And we don't have the the one in here. So we'll clean it out. No. So we'll clean it out a little bit. Mhm. Mm Let's open this baggie up. Look at this. In the line of duty. What I wouldn't do for this car. 
Get your cheats, you know. Okay, so we got the crush washers in here. They come with the oil change kit again. Like my hubby said, this is a benefit of buying a kit. Everything you need is included. You don't have to go trying to hunt around and get the wrong parts and yeah, you get end up going to the hardware store ten times. True story. You don't have to do it every time. It doesn't need new crush washers every single time. Some people every might single think, time. Some people might think it does. It really doesn't. Um, but yeah, that's how that works. New crush washers, new O-ring for the oil filter cap because we're a performance and type of machine and we got some racing to do in a week yeah so, so this thing's been sitting here draining the whole time we've been uh, working on the oil filter and everything else okay so i'm going to pop it in through the bottom hole yeah. i don't know why i do not have a there's a little bit of oil spillage right here from me why well, i don't have a, a ratchet on here you don't need a ratchet to start it I do. I need a ratchet all the time. Okay. Is it going in easy though? It's in. Yeah. Yeah, it's going in easy. Okay, let's put this here. Now what needs to be done is I'm tightening the uh, oil drain plug bolts. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're good. Okay. And we already got everything done as far as that goes. Now what needs to be done is we need to go ahead and get the oil in this car. All right, let's do it. Let me guess, it's hung up on the drive shaft. No, actually, it's hung up on my um, inability to move. Look, look. Oh, yeah, look at that. I was wondering if maybe that was easy the trick. Easy peasy. Put it in and take it out from the driver's, driver's side. Driver's side. And you said that, I think, and I was like, pass with your side. So, anyways, driver's side, driver rules, always the driver, whatever. What's that? What uh, were you saying? I was saying I need another oil change notch on my belt, but I don't have a tool belt. See this? Absent. Right. Why are you doing it? Why isn't your wife doing it? So here's the deal. We would normally use this. We would normally go down to the bed. Uh, this last time we did it, we took this off. I'm tired. I don't feel like taking it off. And we also don't feel like cleaning up a mess. So but hence the husband. That is, if you don't have something in the way, ideally this funnel right here works so perfectly. You Slides just in back yeah, you just drop it through one of the holes, and it drops down. I don't know if you can get in there and see what we're dealing with. What we did is we just stuck a funnel in there. And, you uh, see that funnel? I'm going to be very, in. very, very careful, and then I'm just going to reach in there. Right. And I'm going to make it perfectly in that funnel and not get it all over the edge. And he's doing it because I, I know myself well enough to know that I cannot, cannot. It's a bit of a tricky in. spot there. Yeah. It's a bit tricky. It's a bit trickery. I'm hoping tricky. that I actually pull this off without making a giant mess. Right I think now. you're going to do fine. Just fine. It's a real bad angle for recording video, but, um... Yeah. Hey, we'll just, uh, you'll have to take our word for it. We did it. Don't move your head, okay? Don't come up suddenly, because I'm getting in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. We're going right in. Want me to get you another one? Yep. Okay. Oh, I see a drip. Oh, okay, so that's what happens. We just want to show you guys. When you get oil in your skid plate, see right there? It kind of pools a little bit. And then what it does is it just drips the heck down and it push that Garage Buddy 10,000 over about four inches, it'll catch it all. It's coming right out. Which way am I going? This way, towards me. Uh, right there. So, it kind of sucks because we managed to drain it without. And normally uh, we get the oil in without. So really, really what we should have done is taking the, uh, the box off. You know what? Lesson learned. Let me tell you this. As far as the actual oil change goes, mm -hmm. this product here from Raptor Off-Road, I'm yeah, giving it 12 awesome. thumbs up. Yeah. Right here. This is Raptor Off-Road. I'm going to put links below. You're going to want to get this, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to message them tonight. Guys, well done. That was awesome. So the, the oil spillage came after the fact, and that was our tired laziness and not wanting to remove our box back here. That's a true fact. That's just us. Had we removed it and used the filter light or the, uh, yeah, the funnel that we were planning on we're and taking the extra 15 minutes to take it off and put it back on, there would be no mess. So all of that drippage is coming from our own foil. Ten minutes, bro. Yeah, well, That's whatever. All right. Anyway. All right. We're out. So thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you picked something up in this video. 
We did. So again, Raptor Off Road, thank you so much for sending that out to us. We wholeheartedly, I'm doing a thumbs up for me and for hubby. So this is like whoop whoop, right? Yeah. And all of our friends too, because they're honestly, they're gonna want this. So I'm gonna put links below um, so that you can order one for yourself. Uh, it's amazing. So thank you to our subscribers, by the way. We couldn't do it without you. We appreciate all of you. We really do. I've met a lot of you. We've met a lot of you and looking forward to meeting more. We'll be in Glamis in a few days. I know we're going to run into some of you and I'm so, I'm so stoked. Um, if you haven't subscribed, you're here watching, so please do. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button, it does help us. We want to continue doing this and we would love if you joined us along uh, uh, with the, on our journey. A bit tired. Um, if you like it, let us know. Give us a thumbs up because we do appreciate it. It does help us and we, we like to smile. If you hate it, we need to know that also because we want to just immediately cease and desist with what we're doing. So hit the dislike button two times. It only works in multiples of two. Two, four, six, eight. Who do you love to hate? It's us. God. Um, leave us a comment. We love hearing from you guys. We read them all. We respond to them all. The guy behind the camera is the magic. He puts the D in dandy. Um, we're going to put links below to our Facebook groups. We got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Don't close your eyes at me. Dumb. Um, thank you to our friends at Rugged Radios. Um, as always, looking forward to seeing you in Glamis, uh, MTS Off-Road, we got some work for you to do. Looking forward to seeing you boys out there too. So, coming next, this chick riding in a Razor driver's seat. That's right. So, thank you guys. Peace. Peace.